Hello and welcome to another Lightworks 14 tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at uh, light flicker and how to reduce it. I have two clips here. Um, I have recorded these. One at a mismatched frame rate to the electrical frequency and one that is matched to the electrical frequency. So we'll quickly take a look at those. So the effect of lighting flicker is when you are recording at a frame rate that differs from your electrical frequency. In my case the electrical frequency is 50 Hertz and I am recording at 60 frames so I get this flicker effect. On the camera I changed that recording frame rate to match the 50 Hertz frequency by recording at 50 frames a second. And this is the result. A lot smoother. Nice if you know and remember to do that. But if you've forgotten to do that or you didn't know that existed and you've got footage with that horrible flicker in, what can you do about it? Well, if there's not much movement in the footage, then you can try this method. So first up, let's just drag and drop this clip with the flicker into the timeline. Bonf play it for a bit, we've got the flicker, right? Rewind it, let's add a video track, Boof. tracks, add video. Right, I'm going to mute the audio because we don't need the audio. And I'm going to drag that clip in again, but first I'm going to offset it by one frame in. So bang, one frame in, I'm going to put an in mark, just so it snaps to that in mark at one frame. And now we have two tracks. If we go over to VFX, let's try this. We're going to add an effect to the top track V1. So we're going to add and under mix, we've got blend. And I'm just going to drag and drop blend onto that track. And I'm going to turn the opacity down to 50%. Now I can just use the slider or type in 50. In this case, I'm just going to use the slider. Let's see what that happens. Ooh, wrong button, rewind. So we still have some flicker there on the left hand side, quite obvious, but it's reduced. So we can add more tracks and change the opacity. So if we go back to here, if we change that opacity to say 66, and then we go back to edit and we add another track. And we're going to add in the same track again. Oh, but first I want to offset my frame. So I want to go back to my in mark, come in one frame, and reset an in mark for just for the snap. I find it nice and easy. So we've now got a third track in there. We're going to apply the blend to that again. So under VFX, add, mix, blend. Just drag and drop the blend on there again. And this one I want to set to 33% or close enough to it. Now let's try that. So we still have a very slight flicker there. So I could keep doing this, um, and I've done this and tried it. So I've changed the opacity, which is this slider here. So in case you're wondering what's going on, we're just playing the same track multiple times at different transparency, transparency in the same time slot, just offset by a frame each time. So I could change that to 75, that to 50, add a third track in and change it to 25. So let's try that now. Uh, let's go into V2 and we change that to 75, bingo, let's change it to V1, which is the top track now, we'll change that to 50, still a very slight flicker there, so maybe if we just go in and add another, another track, All right, we rewind there. OK, 
put him in another frame, add the in marker, snap the video to that, add the video effect onto the new track and we'll set this one at 25. Okay, so that's almost eliminated there and for the purpose of a workshop video like this one, I would quite happily accept that. Um, but you may be pickier with your footage, um, you may have movement in your footage. If you have movement in your footage and you try this method, um, it ends up looking really trippy. And in fact, you might find the footage is unusable, but if there's a bit of footage like this that doesn't have too much movement, you may find this method useful. So if you have any comments or suggestions, feel free to do so in the comments selection below. If you have a better method, hey, send me a link. I'm open to suggestions. Um, I did look at the Boris FX. Apparently there was a um, Flickr remover tool in there. I think it has been removed. I couldn't see it. Um, so if you like that, leave a like, click subscribe, you'll see when I have my next video up, and happy editing, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye bye.